Meta has just officially dropped their most powerful language model, Llama 3, and it's insanely good. In benchmarks, Llama 3 crushes every other open source as well as proprietary model. This could be the end of OpenAI's domination. In this video, I'm going to test Llama 3. We will see with our own eyes how good Llama 3 is. According to Meta AI, Llama 3 is a massive improvement over Llama 2. However, I'm a bit skeptical about the benchmarks, so I decided to test Llama 3 myself. We will see if it can pass math questions, coding challenges, and logical puzzles. So first, let's talk about the benchmark results. Ah, these are evaluation scores for different language models on various benchmarks. Let me walk you through them. On the left, we have scores for models like Meta's Llama 3, Google's Gemma, and Mistral. The MMLU benchmark tests multitask capabilities, and the Llama 3 scores highest at 68.4. For question answering on GQQAV, Llama again leads with 34.2. For more open-ended evaluations like Human Eval and GSM-8K that test general language understanding, Elame dominates again with scores of 62.2 and 79.6 respectively. On the math benchmark, it smashes Gemma and Mistral. Now on the right, we have newer models, Elame 70B Google's Gemini Pro 1.5 and Anthropic's Claude 3 Sonnet. Elame scores 82 on the MMLU test. In Human Eval, it beats Gemini Pro and Claude Sonnet. Interestingly, on the math benchmark testing mathematical reasoning, Gemini with its 58.5 score, utilizing special prompting, outperforms the others quite significantly. So in summary, these numbers give us a high-level glimpse into the strengths and weaknesses of these impressive language models across different capabilities. Of course, the full story is much more nuanced, but this allows us to broadly compare their performance. Let me know if any part needs more explanation. Now, I know what you're thinking. But Paimon, there are already tons of language models out there, like ChatGPT and Claude himself. What makes Alama so special? Well, let me break it down for you. While the original models were dope, they were locked behind corporate walls, making it tough for the little guys to get in on the action. Llama 3 changes the game by giving everyone access to this insane tech. It's like the people's champ of AI. So how can you get your hands on this game-changing tech? Well, luckily for you, the fine folks at MetaAI have made it stupidly easy to access Llama 3. There are already tons of developers out there cooking up wild applications and fine-tuning the model for specific use cases. For this demo, I'm going to use Grok, not Grok. Grok lets you run LLMs with their special LPU. So sign up for free, I'm going to select the Llama 370B parameter model, which is the biggest model MetaAI has released. But in the future, they will also release a 400B parameter model, which will compete with GPT-4. Enough talking, let's see. Write a snake game in Python. Wow, look at the generation speed. Now I'm going to copy this code and paste it on my VS code. Everything looks fine. Now let's run it. Holy cow, look at this, a fully functional snake game with just a single prompt. That's insane. For the first time, I'm able to run a snake game without getting any errors. Definitely, I will give one point for that. Now it's time for the second coding test. This time I will ask Llama 3 for a Space Invaders game. Write a Space Invaders game in Pygame. And here is our code. As usual, I will copy and paste it on my VS code. To be honest, this time I am not very hopeful. Let's see. Here we go again. Llama 3 shockingly good at coding. Our Space Invaders game is working pretty well. I can shoot, move left and right. One thing I think is not working is the spacecraft not falling. But I can fix that with a second prompt easily. So I am giving Llama 3 another one point. Now we know Llama 3 is very good at coding. Let's see if it can solve some riddles. So here is a riddle. I have cities but no houses. I have mountains but no trees. I have water but no fish. Who am I? Fingers crossed. Llama 3 nailed it again. It gave the correct answer, which is a map. Oh man, I am seriously impressed. Here is another riddle, this time more difficult. Which English word has three consecutive double letters? One more time, Llama 3 gave the correct answer, which is bookkeeper. This is my final logic puzzle test. There are 70 teachers employed with the Hit Bullseye Company, of which 30 are females. 1. 30 teachers are married. 2. 24 teachers are above 31 years of age. 3. 19 married teachers are above 31 years, of which 7 are males. 4. 12 males are above 31 years of age. 5. 15 males are married. How many unmarried females are above 31 years of age? This time, it also gave the correct answer, which is zero females above 31 years of age. There you have it, fam. 
Llama 3 is the real deal, and it's about to shake up the AI world in a major way. Whether you're a developer looking to build the next big thing, or just a curious cat wanting to play around with cutting-edge tech, this open-source model has got you covered. So what are you waiting for? Get out there, explore Llama's potential, and see what kinds of wild creations you can cook up. Who knows? You might just be the one to unleash the next AI revolution. Don't forget to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you on the flip side for more hot tech takes.